A sea of faces all here for the game, but there would be no game without the fans, and some of the most faithful don't show up on the Jumbotron. I'm old school. I go back to no cheerleaders. These season ticket holders range from downtown. My seats are on the floor. I'll never give them up my seats. To way up top. That's where the real fans are. Their styles may differ. I'm a motorcycle rider, and it was just natural. I have a shrine in my house. But they're united by their lifelong love of the Celts. Go Celtics! Go Behind the scenes, we met up with Marcus Morris's biggest fan, his mom, and she had some good advice for her son. You're just making a lot of threes and we can <laughs> and win this game. That's all. Listen to your mama. It's late in the fourth quarter. No debut on this night for first round draft pick Robert Williams III. But the team expects big things from this young player. Robert's a great young man. I, I've really been impressed. He's putting in the work, uh, putting in the time in the training room and the time in the court. The 21 year old 6'10 Louisiana native now calls Boston home. Have you had a tour of Boston yet? Not at all. All right, well, this is how you do it. To the duck boats! Woo! What better way to start than with some excited fans? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? On a Boston Duck Tour. Let me introduce myself. My name is Choo Choo Jolly. We're the company that give you guys your championship parades. Williams takes in landmarks from Faneuil Hall to the State House to Beacon Hill and TD Garden. Give it up for Boston Celtics! The 80 minute tour ends with a quack. Next destination, buttermilk and bourbon. We wanted to bring you someplace that could remind you of home, New Orleans style cooking. Here we talk round ball over beignets and a few other signature dishes. So what's your excitement level to be playing for one of the best basketball franchises in the history of basketball? Just eager to gain their trust, eager to just have the have the community behind me. Williams admits to some initial nerves when hitting the court with this current team. Definitely butterflies, just not knowing what was expected of me, or how those guys play, and just being on the court with, with superstars. Like, I got to learn how to play with these guys, you know what I'm saying? I want them to be able to trust me just as much as, you know what I'm saying, I trust them. What are you hoping to learn from the veterans? Everything has kept them on the straight path to where they are now. What are you most excited about entering into this season? We're trying to get a banner, man. Trying Win. <laughs> cheers to you. Yeah. And cheers to the season. Cheers to the season. And welcome to Boston. Thank you. Nicely done. By the way, that duck boat parade tradition goes back to 2002 when the Pats won their Super Bowl. That's right. And since then, they've had 11 parades, including one for the Celtics in 2008. It's time for another one. <laughs> that is Chronicle for tonight. I'm Shana Seymour. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.